Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks Stobart review. So in today's review we're going to be carrying on with the Stobart Jockey Championship range of trucks. Uh, at the moment I've only got two more of these models to review and then I'm going to have to have a look on eBay um, and see which other ones I am missing out of my collection. So without further ado, let's take a look at today's model. So today, as you can see, uh, it's one of the Stobart Jockey Championship trucks. Um, and the jockey this time is Paul Hannigan. So we'll take a look at the outside of the casing first and then take a look at the truck itself. So on the cardboard sleeve, we have an image of the jockeys, um, obviously with the Stobart wording on the jodpers, um, that's going around the edge of the casing. On the bottom of the casing we have the Great British Racing logo, the Professional Jockeys Association logo, apologies for that, I just had to look over the camcorder screen to see what it said, um, the Stobart Jockeys Championship logo and the Stobart Group wording along with um, the Stobart, is it the energy design or biomass? Because I know now, it's, I'm sure it's Stobart energy now. Uh, that's in black, a sort of a dark blackish greyish colour. Now this one I've had for quite some time. Um, I actually purchased it from a model railway swap meet in Stafford uh, a couple of years ago actually, before obviously the restrictions and everything started. And originally it was supposed to be twenty one ninety five, but I actually got it for nineteen seventy five. So uh, I will be going to Stafford again on the twelfth of December this year, which is when the fair is on again. So I might pick one up from there as well. I'm not too sure yet. Turning the box to the bottom, uh, we can see we have the Oxford Diecast logo and the company's website website and also address details. Uh, the product code for this particular model is 76SHL07WF. It says Stobart Paul Hannigan. So if we just turn the box down to the other side, well round to the back should I say. We have a lineup of the jockeys, obviously you've got a clearer image of the design of the um, riding gear and the jobpers etc with the Stobart branding and also on the bottom uh, it also tells you what other trucks are available in the series. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about that because obviously each review that I do on these will be one of the trucks that's actually in that series. Okay so let's take the truck out of the casing and have a look at it. So it's presented on a very nice display stand um, with a plastic lid to protect it during transport and stop it from getting damaged. So we'll just take this lid off. And we'll also take this piece of plastic off the top of the trailer. So first off, it's not too light, not too heavy, it's sort of a medium in between weight. And now I will be taking this model off the display stand when I put it in the loft um, as I've got a shelf up there specifically for these trucks. So as you can tell unlike the Atlas Editions versions it's not got like the wording across the bottom of the display stand. So let's start with the front and work our way around the sides to the back and then round the other side. So. Starting with the airfoil on the cab, we can see we have the Stobart wording printed neatly in green. Below that on the visor we also have some spot lamps. On the left and right hand side we've got the blind spots and the wing mirrors. Moving down just below the windscreen we have the Scania wording in silver. And the name just under that is Melissa Elizabeth. So let's zoom the camcorder out. So on the centre of the grille we've got the Stobart cab wrap design. Now as you can see it's a bit like a V shape so we have 
the green coming down the left to a point and down the right to a point with um, white just in the middle. On the bottom left and right hand sides we've got the indicators and the headlights and moving on to the bumper we've got some fog lamps or spot lamps whichever you wish to call them on the left and right hand sides and we also have the number plate which is PX15JHJ. So turning the model round to the side now on the top of the passenger door we have the Sobart Group wording printed in green. We also have the lift design which is printed very neatly on the side of the passenger door as you can see there. Zooming in we also have the fleet number which is H8417 and again the name Melissa Elizabeth just above that. It's a six wheel trapped unit Scania Highline. Moving across to the trailer, we've got the ladders where the driver climbs up um, to obviously move the sheet over. Now I think these are on a winding handle, uh, but obviously if I'm wrong please leave your comments below. Moving on to the trailer, underneath the trailer, as you can see there we have the trailer legs. We've got the Stobart leaf design printed very neatly in orange and green on the front just here. On the side we have the jockey's name which is Paul Hannigan and an image of the jockey and the horse on the back of the trailer. So underneath the Paul Hannigan wording we have the hashtag jockey champs and again the Great British Racing logo, the Professional Jockeys Association logo and the Stobart Jockey Championship logo. It's a triaxle trailer. So moving around to the back we have the Stobart wording and the renewable energy wording just underneath that. Again we've got a photo of the jockey Paul Hannigan on the left of the trailer door and on the right of the trailer door we have the Stobart energy leaf design. On the bottom left and right you can see the trailer number which is WF132 and under Underneath we have the number plate PX15JHJ and we also have the indicators, the brake lights and the reversing lights on the left and right hand sides. So turning the trailer around to the other side now. So on this side we have the trailer straps which are painted in silver along the length of the trailer. Again we have an image of the jockey and the horse just there. Uh, apologies about the lighting, it's just gone quite bright outside. Underneath that we have the Great British Racing logo again, the Professional Jockeys Association and the Stobart Jockey Championship logo. And underneath uh, the rider's name again we have the hashtag Jockey Champs. And again we have the Stobart leaf design printed very neatly on the side there. So moving last but not least to the driver's side of the cab. We have the stobartgroup.com, not stobartgroup.com, sorry, Stobart Group wording on the top of the driver's door. Again, we have the Stobart Energy Leaf design printed very neatly on the side of the driver's door. And again, on the side of the driver's door, we have the fleet number, which is H8417, and above that, the name Melissa Elizabeth. So that is it basically. The Oxford Diecast Scania Highline in the Stobart Jockey Championship livery.